What's up and good afternoon guys. Welcome back to another video. Today is a special video. We're going solo camping for three days. So stay tuned and we'll be right back right after this. We've made it. It's been a long drive. It's about a uh, hour and a half, two hour drive out here. And uh, we, as you can see, it's absolutely beautiful out here. Right there is the campsite, and, uh, and you see there's a fire pit already over here. Right, yeah, right there is the fire pit right there. So, anyway, let me go ahead and uh, get the uh, camera put on a tripod, and we'll get it going and uh, get camp set up, and I'll set it up on the time lapse. So, stand by, and we'll be right back.
Pretty out here though. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. I didn't sleep so good last night. I had a, a lot of uh, issues sleeping. I um, was up most of the night, mainly because I think it's just the first time being here. I didn't know what to expect, and every little noise woke me up. But anyway, um, I'm going to get started with my day. Make me a glass of tea, or a cup of tea. So, you know, I, let me uh, go get my water and stuff ready and we'll go get some tea made. So, give me a minute. I'll be right back. Cheers, guys. Hey guys, alright, so kind of wanted to go over something today I thought was kind of neat. Um, I forgot about, it's been so long since I've been out in the woods to do stuff, but I want to show you something here. See these little thicket sticker things here? Well, what you want is like that little bitty leaf right there that one right there you want those little small fresh leaves like that and uh, there's these thickets and they're all over the place out here well what you can do is you find these little fresh thicket uh, leaves like this here and what you can do is you take and shred them up, put them in some water and boil them and it will make a tea for you that you can drink. Also, these loblolly pines out here, these loblolly pines, uh, what you can do is you take the needles from them, same thing, take a, a fresh set of green needles boil them in some water and you make yourself a high vitamin C vitamin D um, and a couple other vitamins and stuff that you can drink that will be very healthy for you same thing with spruce 
and a couple other pines. Um, what you want to do, matter of fact, here I'll go out here and show you real quick because there's one right out here. So, what you want. is this limb right here okay so you see right here you got these fresh real small um, like needles that's on here or whatever so what you want to do is you just pop pop a handful of these off of here and take and boil them in some water and it'll make you a high nutritional vitamin C uh, drink that you can drink that'll be really good for you so thought I would get out here and show you guys that um, Something that I haven't really like talked about on the channel much, but uh, anyway, I wanted to get out here and show you guys because there's some things out here in nature that are actually really good for you and uh, things that you can use to eat. Another thing too, which is kind of cool. Um, You'll probably see these things growing in your yard sometimes. There you go, see, there's, I think there was one over here a while ago I saw. Well, I can't seem to find one. I saw it while I got, I don't remember where it was, I saw it. Anyway, um, what you wanna do is find you a, a dandelion. And what you can do is you pull the leaves off the dandelion and you can eat them like a salad. Also, the stem and the roots. Um, if you dig up the root and then you take and put it in a frying pan, you can um, make it real black and then char it real good, let it dry out, and then take and crush it up in like a mortar and pestle and then you can put it through a strainer and make coffee out of it so something kind of kind of neat that you guys might be interested in i know it's not something that is a, a normal thing that you would actually do but it's something i was sitting here thinking about a minute ago so um those dandelions are a real good source of food that you can eat that's out here in nature uh, another thing too like I said with the um, those little sticker thickets get the real small fresh baby leaves that are just coming out on them shred them up and boil them up and then you can make a tea out of it and then there are some other things out here too um, that you can do as well so I found it pretty interesting um, let's see there's some sumac out here um, and then if you find like a sumac tree with the little pink berries on it take a whole handful of those little pink berries and douse them in some really nice ice cold water and then you'll have um, a real sweet drink to, to drink as well. It looks like we got some, I think that's, I think that's wild blackberry there. Or raspberry maybe. So those are edible too, I believe. Looks like wild blackberry or raspberry to me. But those are edible as well. But you guys might find that interesting. 
uh, it's quite a bit out here actually and if you can find a pine cone uh, like that's laying out here on the floor or whatever that hasn't like sprouted out you can find some pine nuts and you can fry those up in some butter and eat those and they're kind of nutritious as well so lots of stuff out here that is available in a survival type situation that you can sit and eat so I just wanted to pass that down to you guys um, I know I haven't really talked about that kind of survival stuff before so I wanted to get a chance since I was out here to kind of show you guys um, a few of the things that's out here that you could eat that was um, edible also uh, something else that I've noticed is uh, right here on this pine tree if you see right here where it's damaged you can see the uh, uh, the uh, pine sap or pine tar right here you can take all that pine tar pull it off and it makes a really nice glue um, it's also great for fire starting for starting fires because it goes up really fast it's like uh, kind of has like a turpentine smell to it and uh, so you can use that as well so kind of a few things that you can use now the great thing about the the pine tar or pine pitch um, you can actually use that kind of stuff for um, like gluing stuff together you can patch holes with it uh, say you got a tarp like mine here it's got a hole in it you can take that pine pat uh, pine pitch spread some on there and put you a patch on it and you can patch it and it acts just like a, a glue like a rubber glue or tar and you can put that on there and seal it up so just wanted to pass all that down to you Good morning, everybody. I slept like a freaking rock last night. I slept so good. I didn't end up getting up till like 5 o'clock this morning. And uh, kind of laid around for a little bit. I got up and then finally um, ended up having to go use the bathroom. And then kind of started gathering everything up, making sure I had everything together. You know, we're going to pack it up and uh, head back to home. So, anyway, guys, appreciate y'all joining me this time around. Um, all the links to the gear that I've used out here are going to be linked down below in the description. It's going to be my website at redfoxoutdoors.us. So, find that link and all my Amazon affiliate links will be there. I do receive a little bit of a kickback from anything that is purchased. It's not a lot, but it does help out the channel. So if y'all purchase anything, please use those links. And until next time, I've been Red Fox with Red Fox Outdoors. Get out and enjoy nature. Bye, guys. Okay, everybody. Here we go. Everything's all cleaned up. No more camp. As you can see, leave no trace everything's back in its place where it was no trash no garbage I even picked up everybody else's garbage that was left the only thing you can tell that was even a campsite was because of the fire ring there but nothing I can do about that but as you can tell it doesn't even look like I stayed here 
Everything's all cleaned back up. I respread out the needles like they're supposed to be. So it doesn't even look like I was even here. Alright guys, that's it. Camp's done and I'm out.